Welcome back. Here's a follow-up to my Volcanic Fissure Chieftain build. So I'll go over the skills real quick and the passive tree from what I've gathered and where I plan to go or some potential paths to where I might take it. Start off. So traveled up here and got Avatar Fire and uh, Fire Conversion nodes right here. Uh, this makes it where I have 100% fizzed fire without needing the chieftain node it's this 50 percent conversion so without needing that i've got the 100 percent conversion for my first ascendancy point i went with the double slam we're picking up a lot of slam builds here uh for now i've got some one-handed attack but i'll change that to two-handed whenever i switch if i ever switch uh some resistance resistance fire damage again and this is just uh some life recovery stuff i'm in hardcore so i gotta stay alive we got um onslaught and oh this isn't filled out right you know what okay that's more like it so i've picked up panopticon and i went ahead and got surveillance and ironwood and i might get um the crit from this mastery i haven't really decided yet on what i want to pick up uh, we just picked these three so that I can drop steel skin and pick up molten shell and still have the bleed removal. Got corrupted blood resistance up here. So, anyway, we got molten shell, herald of purity, war banner, precision, leap slam's got fortifying, killing strike on it. You know, just, just add a little flavor to my leap slam. Nothing. Nothing mandatory, that's for sure. Um, playing with, you know, flammability is on self cast. Vault Molten Strike, uh, you definitely don't need this. This is probably a waste of a slot. I was just playing around with the uh, the Vault ability, and it kind of synergizes with all the other stuff I'm doing. So, yeah, we got Earth Shatter linked to. Earthbreaker, which turns it into a totem, then multiple totems. Okay, so my totems are casting Earth Shatter, and this is a an ability that works kind of like a trap does, in the sense that it lays down ground spikes, and whenever I use a different slam or a war cry, it will explode the ground spikes. So. We're using Leap Slam. We're also using um, two other War Cries that can all trigger Earth Shatter. Three totems out that are all slamming Earth Shatters onto the ground, and the Earth Shatters completely converted to fire damage. So these Earth Shatter explosions are happening pretty consistently. On top of that, we have Immolate, adds more damage against burning enemies. Everything we do is burning everything. So this has been pretty nice. A uh, nice little burst damage while I'm popping my war cries and stuff. So, the next bit is Battle Mage's Cry. Uh, this is not locked in at all. Um, still toying around with this. It's Battle Mage's Cry with a uh, wave of conviction for the uh, exposure. Flame Wall. The idea here is that when I land a melee strike, the flame wall is on the ground right in front of my volcanoes so all the projectiles theoretically should be passing immediately through the flame wall and getting buffed for the moment i have cremation in just to add some more projectiles some more volcanoes um and to get rid of uh corpses i don't know this is maybe this, this could maybe be a, a support gym they could buff these other ones a little bit better that would be probably good and then i have cold snap here which uh, not using it for damage at all, just uh, as a way of gaining some frenzy charges. Get a little bit of attack speed as I uh, level up. This will get changed later for sure. And on top of that, we're using Infernal Cry to cover the enemies in Ash and blow like them I said up. earlier, self cast curse because that's stronger this league. And also, uh, we're really just using the curse on the bosses or like. A really tough rare enemy that won't go down um 
so yeah <laughs> probably want to take this off at the moment right there's so many buttons and you have the vol mul uh vol volcanic that's hard to say vol volcanic fissure and uh hell i'm playing with cold snap and molten strike so i intend to get in vol molten shells I'm not going to run around with four vol skills uh, so I'll condense this and change it around a little bit better. But the main idea is, you know, the totems are doing the earth shatters for us. Uh, so we can focus on casting our two war cries. And then spamming, after that, our volcanic fissure. Which, at the moment, is linked up to faster attacks. Greater multiple projectiles. So we get eight uh, magma orbs coming out and combustion for that lower resistance increased chance to ignite so and then you know war banner for accuracy you need some accuracy is that accuracy of course it is of course it is and so is precision so i've got a little accuracy buffs going on um in the tree <laughs> what i'm going to do next is you know i want to go down here to the war cry speed definitely need this and like I'm suffering without it to be honest so this is like the next move and then I want to go over here I'm not exactly sure if I want to go to this one first or climb up and go to these war cry buffs so you got so many war cry nodes right next to each other okay there's also one up here so it's like a no-brainer, you know? You just double down on these war cries. And uh, there's stuff in here that more damage for each war cry you used recently. And you know, all sorts of stuff that's going to make these hits even hit harder. They're already, And I'm already hitting. It's feeling pretty decent. It's starting to feel like a build. It's starting to feel like I'm playing an actual build now. So on top of that, you know, we got Fortify and Leap Slam, which is not ideal. Um, when I have a five link, six link supplement, I'll uh, put Fortify on my main skill. And we'll also pick up uh, some Fortify nodes, which are right here, right? Also just right next to our Warcry nodes. So we'll pick these up for some extra damage, some extra damage resistance. We got some critical strike chance stuff, which synergizes pretty well with Battle Mage's Cry. There's tons of armor nodes around here to stack our Molten Shell up even higher. There's there's armor just all over the place on this side of the tree. Cluster Jewel access for when I find one. Regular Jewel. And we're lined up to climb up to the life wheel if we want to do that. Now, I think potentially Iron Will could be helpful to us here. Or if I was already on this life wheel and it just took me to... Then maybe. I would just have to look at the DPS. But I think in general, I, I usually don't go with this node. It just usually doesn't seem worth it. So yeah, that's pretty much the build so far. And uh, still got a long way to go. But wanted to do a little update since I changed the skills quite a bit. And I wanted to say now that I've changed a few things around, it feels smooth. It feels a lot smoother. Feeling a lot more confident. So that's good. I will also say this. It's very hard to see anything going on when your whole screen is covered in lava. But besides that, I'm having a pretty good time. And I hope you are too. Thanks for watching.